Welcome back adventurers! I'm an adventurer like you and I'm playing Crusader Kings 3. We are continuing our Rurikid Dynasty playthrough and uh, we are still with the Dynasty founder King Rurik of Homeguard, King of Gardariki. And we are expanding to the south. Uh, at the end of last episode we were about to start our war with Kiev. So let's get back into the game. But before we go, I want to get another uh, champion because we can have one more and we have a few that are very average. So, yeah. Like this guy very curious character. He is a one-legged dwarf, but he is still recruited to fight in my army with only seven prowess. That's poor. Average fighters, six to twelve. Yeah, we should try to avoid that. Um, stop. And uh, another thing I wanted to do. We'll get to that sooner. The champions. Um, there was a child of mine that didn't have a guardian, Osbjorn. Looking good there. I like the hairstyle and uh, the intelligence as well. This is definitely a kid that we need to keep an eye on. So, educate the child. Um, we want, well, he wants. Um, spy mastery, intrigue, that's what he's good at, that or diplomacy, mm. diplomacy actually wouldn't be bad, because he has base 4 for intrigue and base 3 for diplomacy, now let's go with this, okay, that's good, and then you have a guardian and you already got deceitful even though you're you are doing diplomacy um which means we should maybe try to educate us pure ourselves Yeah. Uh, Chieftain Ingwa, he doesn't have any intelligence traits. Yeah, no, sorry. I changed my mind. Um, Move Guardian. We're gonna do it ourselves. Yes. And then, uh, we want him to study language. Finnic language. Why not say Finnish? Anyway, um, that's not what we want. We want him to study Russian, East Slavic language. So probably with Ingwer the Impaler. You can teach him your language. Okay, and actually I want that as well. Because I could... Where are my vassals? Ingwer? Yeah. Can I learn your language? Only 60% chance because of that. Okay. Fair enough. Boris and Yemelian. And you'll be turned to Berktor. Okay. Um. I can take another concubine I saw. We don't want to make Zik Rurikid into a shield maiden. Although she has good prowess, but um, yeah. I did think I wanted to give him a county. Because that will um, get them more frisky. And possibly produce some good children. And because it's a matrilineal marriage, any children they get 
would be of my dynasty and then I can give that if I get a son the um, duchy so I'm giving him a county and I was thinking Tver here which is part of a bigger county uh, duchy here namely Opolia yeah we don't have the title shall we create the title we shall create the title Yardom of Valdemar it's now called okay uh, from Vladimir Valdemar okay that makes sense and Baron of Sevolot of Tver is now a ruler what why is it baron it should be chieftain he is chieftain of Tver anyway and yeah you need to come of age in three years we will get you your um County, duchy, whatever. He's actually in line for the kingdom here of Belarus, or whatever it's called here. White Rus, yeah. So we need, we need an empire. And if we need an empire, we need to either get Vladimir or Ruthenia. Vladimir, we need three more counties and Ruthenia. 12. Yeah. What this? The Empire of Russia. That's what we're going for. All right. Um. I said we would get a another champion. Well, let's do this. So this is the advanced character search. That's a mod which has a lot more options. Uh, we want not a ruler. We want an adult man. Because our army is male only unless they're shield maidens. And we want imprisonment, we want him to be free. Yeah, the rest we can see and sort by join the court score. And sorting always takes a while. And then we are looking here for high prowess. So 10 is really the lowest we want to go for. And he won't come to our court. 23. You do want to come. Okay, come on over. Though he's a guest, so that always... Well, that usually takes a while before they come over. And uh, Gerdin is also a renowned physician. And the one we have now is thick, right? Uh, yeah, theory. He has consumption. So I'm not sure how much longer she is going to live. She's feeling fine, though, even though she has consumption. She's a renowned physician, so she is helping herself, I guess. Um, but it might be good to get him on board. Although he is paranoid. Do you want to come? Yes, you do. Okay, great. Um, but what I need are people like this. He's a court physician at Grandmaster Vargan's court in Jomsborg. Okay, you stayed there. Uh, and we won't hire at least 10. He's also a court physician. This guy is a genius court physician. 
No? Well, he's a physician of some sort. But you don't want to come, obviously. Thirteen. Yeah, court physician, so you won't come either. Eleven. Interesting. Court tutor. Nope. I just want, like, one more... But these all have jobs. Okay, if we sort by oops by prowess. Guest. This is the guy we invited, right? Yes. Vemund. Not sure. He is a spy master. See, all the good people have been employed somewhere. He is wandering, but he doesn't want to come. Though we might be, be able to go visit with some money, but he's only 13. You. So. No. Okay, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. It is high time for some action. Let's go. And get Kiev. Um, so let's see if we can get that. Yeah, he is. They are arrived at court. My son is under attack. He's under attack by the loathsome chieftain Ingvar of the chieftain of Skov. That's my spy master. Okay. Well, you have 630. You have a bit more. Um, he's gonna lose. Because he has an ally. Do you have any allies? You don't have allies. Well, that's silly. So my grandson is the court tutor there. And uh, he's now commander in the arm. Okay, whatever. We have something more here. Alright. Declare war. We said we want the Duchy of Kiev, and then the rest we'll get later. Insk. We have rivers here, right? Yeah, let's just raise all armies. And he has that. Okay, never mind. And he's already at minus 50% war score because we have his heir in our prison. Uh, we can get the Holy Order, but they're already hired. Okay. And we should be fine because... We have like triple the amount of soldiers. And he has four champions, and we have 18 champions. Alright. Mm. Oh, they're all over there. Oh, my goodness. Um. This is my army, that's not me. That's me. Okay, all you guys... 
Wait a moment, we'll keep one army over here. Hmm. Now all you guys just come on over to Kiev. It's probably doable by boat, yes. And then we'll keep these here. These are just levees. How did I divide that up this way? Okay, and then quickly, let's get rid of this one. I mean, it's probably more historically accurate that the armies would gather around the capital and then go down. Okay, there was a commotion among the children today. Konaguna was attempting to preach among her fellow youngsters and became a target for a small fight. Rodga intervened and did what he could to protect her. Never back down for a challenge. Yeah, that's a good one. And who is this? Konaguna. Okay. Zealous Polish Lovyanska. Hmm. Interesting. Who is. Nobody is teaching her. Um, stewardship. Stewardship. Let's see if we can make a better steward. You are good for stewardship. Okay, there you go. Good. A schemer discovered. My spymaster has come to me with grave news. It is my son and heir Helgi that is plotting against my son Asbjorn. Goodness. Again? Again this nonsense? Yeah, I know. I'm looking at him as a possible replacement. And now I will definitely be looking at him as a possible replacement. Heir. You are out of your mind. Well, let's see how, how this goes with his fight. And then maybe we can uh, imprison him. And a battle of Kiev, victory. Let's have a look what happened there. Ooh, we killed a lot of their soldiers, but they killed quite a few of ours too. We won a lot of fame and some devotion. Um, yeah, we killed like two thirds of their levies. Okay. And uh, we captured this guy. Why is he a champion? He has zero prowess. Okay, now we need one of my armies. to stay here and the others to spread out I guess Jungsborg. okay you go to Chernobyl that's a name that rings a bell especially for someone a bit older um yeah, I guess here. And then we have one more army, right? Inspiration realized, that is great. Uh, this army shall go... Mm. My lord, my beneficiary, throw these gestures me over to an object covered in fabric with a white grin on her face. 
I have toiled many days and nights, and finally my work is done. She whips the covering off, and my eyes grow wide as I see what's hidden beneath. A regal throne of very fine craftsmanship. The frame is constructed from solid pine posts, and the seat is cushioned with linen pillows. There is my throne. Extra prestige and court grandeur bonus. And our family motto inscribed on one side. This is lovely. It is. And uh, we should have it placed there. Uh, of course, artifacts. My throne should be there. That is very nice. This is really shaping up. All right, now let's get this war done. A secret revealed. Meow. I look down to see that my cat has dropped a scroll at my feet, sealed in my vassal high chief Narusan's distinct style. Giving in to curiosity, I skim the text, keeping this secret weighs on me. What secret? Uh, I learned of somebody's child. Uh, heritage secret. Okay, to think it, he was hiding such a thing. And we have the Melia Okunuska populist faction created. Um, they are coming back. We should probably send these guys after them. Where are you going? There. Yeah, and then maybe even these. Because... How many champions do you have here? Four, six, two, and two. Yeah, these ones also. The things we share when we talk about life. My wife and I often agree. I just know that Ingrid understands how I view the world. I am lucky to be with someone who understands me. Indeed, I am. So what is happening here? Battle of course then. Of course they come with a bigger force, but we have reinforcements coming in. Hopefully they get there in time. And they do. And we defeat them again. The battle of course then is over and my daughter learned the Anglic language. Meh. You are amazing. What do you know? Norse and Anglic. I think you should learn East Slavic. Like from my champion Yaroslav. East Slavic. Okay. Great. Um Yeah, I mean they lost a third of their army. Any champions? No. Okay. Yeah, they have some Varangian veterans and Drogina. Okay. The child was born. Another mare that is gave birth to a boy. He's supposedly handsome, although I'm not seeing it yet. But, uh, yeah, we've got this uh, handsome champion in, right? All right. The Spice Trader. The latest gossip around town has reached my ears. A famous peddler of spices has arrived in the area. Not only does he sell spices individually, but he also creates unique blends of these spices. There is one in particular known as the Five Spice Blend, which is said to be peerless among the spice blends of the world. Though it might be more expensive than usual spices, perhaps I should consider buying this blend for my cooks to use before this peddler leaves town. I will consider this carefully. Why doesn't it give me a choice here? Right. I think this is one of the events from the Viet mod. And uh, I would like this to have a choice. So I gain famous spice peddler in town. And ah, I can take the decision to visit him. Okay, there is some follow up on this. That's great. Uh, you will have extra decision to purchase a special five spice blend. Okay. Best to it sooner rather than later. Yeah, the five spice blend, if you don't know, is actually famous in China. It's uh, used in some of the Chinese kitchens. 
Okay, I will consider this carefully. So now we have a decision. Not seeing it. Okay, I will look into that later. Um, so here, yeah. I think I should go back here. Education, Anna. And my ward Oppo has come of age, and this time she left my care. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutors would be enough to teach Oppo the intricacies of administration. She got two stars in uh, stewardship. Well, we did our best. And uh, yeah, she is betrothed to some high chieftain of her tribe. But outside of my realm. So, yeah. Um, if they're going this way, we need to keep an eye on them. Um, the first army of Pushkin. Darn it. These guys, yes. Can you get a little closer? Like here. No? Well, let's see. We will lose some people. Dissatisfaction. To celebrate the rule of King Rurik, the local families have prepared a festival for the court, Gudun included. It is a feast during which local merchants and mayors bring up gifts. There are samples of all the local produce and even one or two delicacies that are popular at court at the moment, obtained at no cheap cost, I expect. One by one, the locals come forward and present samples of textiles, earthenware and even an article of furniture. Gudun unfortunately looks quite dissatisfied. Perhaps these gifts were not exactly what she had in mind for someone of her station. This is a childhood event from another mod that adds more of these events. Arrogant, content, or impatient. Good one. Arrogant is fine, I guess. Okay, and now they come back and they are even bigger. Did they hire someone? Oh, uh, they ha they got themselves another ally. Valetia. How are they allied? Through marriage between uh, Matea and Sviatoslav. Betrothal. Yeah. Okay. The girl is still not betrothed. I want to get her into my court. Okay. Uh, this is dangerous. Big army on the move. Okay. Uh, these guys, you need to go back here. I am fearing they won't be in time. Ah, wait a moment. We took the High Chieftain's son hostage. So now we have two of his sons hostage. And what is this? Just some courtier? Okay. And then I'll control key. Oops. Wait a moment. Don't slaughter my armies when we already won the war. And there we go. To the blathering King Rurik, may your humors rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So, the High Chieftain of Kiev will be destroyed after the war. That is interesting. But, 
It is the duchy title that I was after. I will siege all territory in that duchy. I gain fame and prestige. Okay, so be it. So be it. And I can disband all. Because they're all in my territory. No, not all in my territory, but there, yeah. There is this little bit of Kiev here now. Um, but he's not... He doesn't hold the city of Kiev, which is now back to being called Königgrad. All right. And of course, we shall, as always, remove that final R here. Königgrad. And I don't think this was the coat of arms, but I will have to look into that. Of course, we need to take this bit. Oh, he has another bit here. Um, as well, but uh, we'll have to wait a few years. I know I am uh, 13 holdings. Wow. Okay, so all these are mine. I achieved the work. I can't usurp it. It's... Oh, I don't have enough money. Didn't it just say that it would be destroyed? And he hates my guts now. Yeah. He wouldn't accept a marriage, right? Or would he? With one of my sons. Hmm, but he's pretty close. Because he has very low opinion of me. Okay. Yeah. And offering guardianship? Will not accept. Yeah. That is understandable. When we can found the capital of the Rus, we can hold the ground plot again. Can we like, not get this pop-up every time? Because doing that takes a long time. We saw that last time when we tried that and then... I thought it was finished but it wasn't and then it got cancelled and all that jazz. Just not in the mood for that. Um, this is definitely something we want though. So now we have the Chiefdom of Home Guard as our capital. Uh, but we should probably move it to Kiev, to Königgrad. And this is, yeah, it's Russian Slovyanska, yeah, low control. So we will move, but it will take some time. I guess. Host a modest feast. Okay. Go on a pilgrimage. We can go on a pilgrimage to Königgrad. Pet mm -hmm. Fregon. Ah, visit the famous spice merchant. How much is that? Of course, that's 25. Okay. Um, yeah. A famous spice traveling, a famous traveling spice merchant is in town. He is selling a unique blend of spices, which he calls the Five Spice Blend. Perhaps I should purchase some of this famous blend for my cooks to use before this merchant leaves for elsewhere. Okay. So an event will appear where you can purchase it, and the historical context. Ever since humans started using spices to flavor their food, various cultures have developed a different blend of spices to use in their cuisines. 
With the growth of trade networks throughout the centuries, cuisines around the world would gain access to a bigger variety of spices beyond ones available in their native regions. Okay, let's do it. The five spice blend. Welcome, welcome. I've been inspecting you, Kiguru. The spice trader smiles. Which of my spices are you interested in buying today? Or are you interested in my famous five spice blend? I'll tell you what. Why don't I let you sample some of the five spice blend with some porridge? So you can see just how amazing it is. I am skeptical. But I try it nonetheless. He's right. It tastes amazing. Interested in buying it now, he asks? Yes, please. And I gain five spice blend... Ooh, that is very nice. Okay. And if we hold a modest feast, a hundred golds. So, um, what is happening with uh, with him? He got himself more soldiers. Okay, he's he's actually gonna win this. How did he suddenly get so many soldiers? Mercenaries, yes. So he had enough money to get mercenaries. Um, but he is a known criminal. So I can imprison him. And his son, my grandson, is of age and uh, he would be ready to take over. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about this girl. Though. Can't break the betrothal this time. Okay. And is there another steward that I could get? Probably, yes. The dwarf. And he wants... Oh, he would... Wow, he's got a lot better. But Rolf has been my marshal for so long. And he's a good friend. This guy's pretty useless. And he's good at learning. He's a theologian. How did you become a high chieftain? Okay, I'm going to assign Kaljewald. Helgi is not going to like me. Yeah, we're getting Norse culture here. Okay. And um, I'm going to imprison him. Present gift of the special spice plant. Ah. Let's see. So if I want to uh, get on someone's good side, I could do that. But I want to imprison him. He's a known criminal. Might succeed 12%. You will rise up in rebellion with other disgruntled vassals. Do we have other disgruntled vassals? I don't think so. How we do, Chieftain Kura? He wants independence again. Ah, I'm getting tired of your shenanigans. Uh, Kura only has 800... And he's allied oh, oh yeah, with them. Okay. You have no alliances. 
They're defending against Pskov. I don't think Pskov should get more of um, home card. It's part of home card. Okay. Yeah, if he takes over, that is not good. So maybe I can let him win this. Right. How did Rolf go down to so few men? Yeah, I think I'll let the let this play out. And then depending on what happens, I will probably proceed and imprison Helgi. He's now upset with me. But I'm very upset with him for trying to kill his half-brother. an East Slavic. So what else do we have here? Estonian, Anglo-Saxon, Vepsian, Somali. <laughs> Olabian, that would be... Ah. Not sure what that is exactly. Isn't that like West Slavic then? Um, what would be useful for you? Maybe Estonian, the Finnic language. But he is Estonian. Estonian has Finnic language. Okay, yeah, they're very closely related languages. But, uh, alright. Go for it. And I am learning uh, East Slavic. Okay. Now, what do we do with these holdings? Uh, if we make uh, Kernegard our primary... Uh, duchy. Our capital. But it's a bit too soon, right? But then we should hold on to these. What is happening here in Tver? She is pregnant. Three months pregnant. Great. Mm. Yeah, the thing is, I don't want to give him two counties. If I could give her any land, I would give her the counties, but to be inherited by her son. Yaroslav is this, this guy, which is a pain in the backside. Bispi. I have that. Yeah. There is no need for me to personally hold this, right? There is this guy who was like kind of upset that I didn't give him a, a job or something. So I should probably give him something. Throw him a bone. Um. Let's see if we have anyone with some interesting traits. Ooh. Only nine. And some of them are my daughters. Mm. 
they're all pretty old. What do you need? You need someone with diplomacy and stewardship to help you. So if we go for uh, some of all skills and then maybe not for inheritable traits. And then, yeah, maybe someone under 30. Otherwise it will come back to us, right? He's lowborn, though. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah, but she's kind of old. Well, he could always take a concubine or two. I guess. So, if we are thinking diplomacy... Yeah, theory is still... One of the better options here. Or Marita, but... He's 29. Not ideal. He is a known criminal. Ah, oh, she's a fornicator. He already has children without ever having been married, apparently. He's good in uh, Marshall, but... And she has some children. He was married. So at least she has the fertility proven, but she doesn't have the diplomacy that he needs. Yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll do this. Okay, they are now married, and I will grant you Gardariki and the Yardom of Vispia. Yeah? Mm, maybe I hold on to this. Yeah, I know, I'm still over the domain limit, that's what I'm working on, and we will do this probably next time. I can usurp... I need more money. 250. Yeah, prisoners can be ransomed. Ah, okay. Uh, ah, yes. He, he can't afford the 100. He's slowly getting some money together, but yeah, no, you stay... You stay. Um, this boy can go home. And Sviatoslav. Also. Okay. And who else do I have? The other son died. No, he was let go, apparently. He is famished. He didn't get enough food in prison, I guess. 
Um, his son is in my prison. You will not accept to pay money or pay ransom for your son. What kind of father are you? Well, you are a very poor one. Yeah. Okay, let's see if you can get some money together at least. Um... Now we have more prisoners. Who is this? He is Norse. Why don't you come and uh, work for me? And you... You are useless. And you're a foreigner. Execute. We had hanged, drowned, burned alive, flayed to death, impaled, or crushed to death. Um, just beheaded. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Yakov. Mm, why are you in my prison? Ransom for one. One piece of gold. All right. And Sviatopolk. Uh, he was somebody spy master, maybe? He would make a decent one. Uh, I'm not really thinking I should just let you go. You could be dangerous. Uh, Rogvolod. Yeah, you are a fighter. But only nine prowess. Um, even so, I will ask you to come work for me. And this one has been with me for five years. Goodness gracious. Also, come work for me instead. We'll find you something to do. Okay. We still have some uh, possessions to um, yeah re what's what's the word I'm looking for to give away basically but um I'll do that off camera because uh this is uh, this is very boring you have to watch I suppose but uh, at least you've seen something of my thought process and um yeah, we shall resolve this before the next episode. And then I'll show you what happened. And we'll continue from there. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button and see you next time.